When Joyce Debnam's husband passed away, she began receiving $1,400 a month in Social Security survivor benefits. Eight months later, that income unexpectedly changed. The trigger. Debnam retired from her job at the United States Postal Service in 2013 after four decades of service. That life change prompted Debnam's Social Security benefits to be cut to just $174 a month. Moreover, the Social Security Administration notified her she had to return $5,000 in benefits she had been overpaid. When I got that letter, I almost hit the floor, Debnam said. She was particularly surprised because before her retirement, Debnam had contacted the Social Security Administration to let them know she was retiring and asked whether that would affect her monthly checks. They told me no, that I was eligible for retirement and I would get my money, Debnam said. Here's a look at more coverage in CNBC's Women and Wealth Special Report, where we explore ways women can increase income, save and make the most of opportunities. Today, Debnam, 80, of Suitland, Maryland, has paid back the $5,000 sum and relies almost exclusively on her postal pension to pay bills, which means her other retirement goals such as traveling or fixing up her home are not possible. Debnam is one of millions of workers who is affected by social security rules related to public workers and reductions in the benefits they are eligible to receive. The Windfall Elimination Provision, or WEP, reduces benefits for people who receive a pension from work where they did not pay into Social Security and also had fewer than 30 years of substantial employment or covered employment. About 2 million people, or 3% of Social Security beneficiaries, were affected by the WEP as of December 2022, according to the Congressional Research Service. Another rule. The Government Pension Offset, or GPO, reduces the spousal, widow or widower's benefits for people who also receive pensions from government work not covered by Social Security. About 734,601 Social Security beneficiaries were affected by the GPO as of December 2022. Like Debnam, many workers are surprised to find their benefits are reduced when they are counting on that income. These policies make it difficult for affected workers and their families to plan for retirement. Representative Mike Carey, R. Ohio, said during a recent House Ways and Means subcommittee hearing on the rules in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Far too often, people are unaware that they are subject to the WEP or GPO until their spouse retires, Carey said. This prompts some people to return to work while others adjust their spending habits or change their standard of living, he noted. Even for public servants who are aware of these policies, the complexities of these formulas makes it difficult to determine the social security benefits that they will eventually receive, Carey said. Congress is considering ways to address these rules.